What's up guys, this is iTweets here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you a new tweak called Docflow. Now this is actually a really cool tweak. What it's gonna allow you to do is change up the animation in your dock. So usually you don't have an animation in your dock. So you can see right here as I scroll across that we have a cover flow effect. You can see that middle icon actually getting a little more pronounced and kind of more in the foreground than the other applications as you can see right here. So it has that cover flow effect. Now there's actually quite a bit of animations that you can change in the settings. And right now I actually have five icons in my dock. I'm using InfiniDock. So usually, obviously you're only going to have four applications. So some of the animations can kind of look a little sparse with only four applications. But at the same time, you can always include Infinity in a doc to add additional applications if you want to do that like I've done. So if we go into our settings, the first thing you'll notice is that the settings is actually called something different. It's not called dock flow, it's called barrel dock. I think the reason behind this is because he initially released this tweak called barrel dock and then he supposedly changed the name in Cydia. Now he hasn't actually updated the name in the tweak. I'm not 100% sure that that's correct, but I think that's what happened. But if we go ahead and go into barrel dock here, we have our settings right here. So right up here at the top, you can enable or disable this. This is going to require a respring, so just keep that in mind. Also down here, you have continuous. So this basically means if you have this toggled on, then you can continuously scroll through your uh, dock right there rather than having to stop at the end of your five applications or four applications, however you have it set up. You can also allow paging if you want to do that. I don't have that enabled. I like the continuous as well as remove dock labels and center the icon when selected. So with this enabled, you can see here if I have the vine in the middle, then let's say I wanted to launch Safari. It's going to automatically put that in the center and then launch the application. So you can change that if you don't want it to automatically center. You can just make it where you tap on Facebook and then it's going to automatically open up. So coming down here, we have a few sliders. We have icon spacing, which you're going to want to mess with uh, definitely depending on what animation you have. You'll see that some look great with the spacing that I have right now and some just don't look that good and you'll need to uh, adjust that accordingly. But also down here we have scroll speed so you can speed up or slow down your scroll speed. You also have perspective so this is going to be uh, more of a help for cover flow and time machine which are two animations I'm going to show you in just a second. Actually the cover flow is what I'm using right now. I'll show you time, <laughs> time machine in just a minute. But down here is where you're going to have your animation style. So right now we have it set up for cover flow and you'll see right up here if we go through all of these this is what linear looks like as you can see that spacing is just not very good so what you would want to do is jump back here make the icon spacing less that way it looks quite a bit better as you can see right there so let's go back here and go into some other ones this is rotary now this is a really cool one as you can see right there it just kind of spins and presents you with that one application right there in the middle and going down here this is inverted rotary so it's going to be like you're inside rather than on the outside and we go down here to cylinder here's what cylinder looks like again this would probably look a little bit better if it was spaced out a little bit more here's the inverted cylinder so like you're inside the cylinder let's go with a wheel this is actually really cool I think that's pretty sweet you can just swipe through just like that and down here we have step up and away this is kind of like wheel it's kind of like a windmill as you can see right there it looks like the blades or the applications in this case are a little bit slanted and present themselves flat on the very top so I think it actually looks kind of cool down here we have cover flow which we actually already covered and here's flippy and this just looks a little too cluttered for me it looks like it's glitching really hard not a huge fan of that you need to sp spread out the uh, icons a bit maybe it'll look a little bit better let's see what that does I mean you can see the animation that it does it spins the application but it just looks glitchy to me it doesn't look like a, a smooth animation so I'm not a big fan of that but down here we have time machine as you can see right here if you guys are familiar with that it actually looks pretty good. The perspective needs to be changed a bit to make this look pretty nice. Let's move this out a little bit. So you can see those applications in the background right there. Probably even look better if it was all the way out. So that actually looks pretty cool too. You also have the inverted time machine if we scroll down here. Now keep in mind if you are scrolling through these, one thing you'll notice is you can't scroll on the icon. So you always want to scroll to the side of it 
or if it's all the way across then you want to scroll from the very top like right under those page dots so it's going to work just like that so dot flow is a really cool tweak i highly recommend it you can pick it up in cydia for a dollar 99 if you're looking for something that uh, animates your dock because really there's not much else out there that's like this so definitely a cool tweak i highly recommend it go ahead and check it out and then let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you want to see more of my videos then don't forget to subscribe all right guys until next time Peace.